Okay, welcome. So in this video, we are going to continue our exploration of transformations in R2. Um, let's take a look at what a rotation transformation would do to one of the triangles in our triangulated um, figure. And then we'll start to think about what happens if we want to compose several of these transformations at once. So let's recall um, we can apply a rotation transformation, which is a linear transformation, um, by an angle of theta in a counterclockwise direction by taking any vector x in R2 and multiplying it um, on the left by the matrix whose first column is cosine theta, sine theta, and the second column is minus sine theta, cosine theta. So let's say, for example, we want to apply a counterclockwise rotation by 3 pi over 2. Okay, so that's 270 degrees. And how these rotations work is we are at the origin. So this vector over here at 1, 1 is going to get flipped all the way around 270 degrees. Um, so let's see exactly where that point is going to get moved. Um, so here, the matrix that we would apply, we're going to plug in 3 pi over 2 in place of theta. So the cosine of 3 pi over 2 is 0. The sine of 3 pi over 2 is minus 1. So that's where this first column, 0 minus 1, comes from. And similarly, after evaluating this second column of the rotation matrix at 3 pi over 2, we see that um, the second column is going to have a 1 as the first entry and the second entry is a 0. So um, applying a counterclockwise rotation by 3 pi over 2 is equivalent to multiplying by the matrix uh, 0, 1 for the first column, 1, 0 for the second column. And so as a result of this transformation, we can see that the first vertex at 1, 1 is going to get mapped to 1 minus 1. So we can see exactly where this gets mapped to. Um, we're going to go over to 1, and now we go down to minus 1. So that puts this vertex right over here. And then we can take a look at what happens to the next vertex, which is located at um, 3, 1. And we can see that this is going to wind up mapped at 1 minus 3. So let's mark this point over here. So here we are at 1, and then here we are at minus 3. So that's where the blue vertex is going to get rotated to. And then lastly, we have this uh, vertex that's located initially at 2, 3. It's going to get rotated around by 270 degrees, and it winds up at 3 minus 2. So it winds up right here. And so we get a rotated triangle that we can see right down below in orange. Um, that comes from connecting those three vertices. So um, we had the red one was over here and the green one was over here. Um, so that's what a rotation by 270 degrees would look like. Um, and again, um, if we wanted to rotate it by some other uh, amount, then we just change the angle theta, and that's going to change this matrix um, over here. So next, let's take a look at what happens if I want to compose the three transformations we've looked at so far. Um, that would be a scaling, a vertical shearing, and a rotation. 